Hi everybody, Amanda here. I'm here to tell you about a few little goodies that we have on the 6th of March. This time it's a Sunday auction, not a Monday auction, a Sunday auction. It's going to start at 12 noon. You can come and view on Friday and on Saturday. Please look up the times and the dates on our website. But I'm here to show you a few goodies. The place is big and it's very eclectic. Uh, it's got something for everybody. And if you miss this auction, you're a fool because there are some fantastic bargains to be had. I'll be there. I'll be there too. Yes. For example, if it was a smaller version, I was going to bid on this, but I think it's a little bit too big for me. I think it's a 1962. I my, yeah, I can't see myself quite. Don't, don't. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. it's rather cute. So you're going from my best friend to the a rocking horse. rocking horse, a good rocking horse. Michael Hodges, the deceased, caught this himself. So who, who's, the, who's the state are we selling? This is the estate of Michael Hodges. And if you don't know that by now, there's something very wrong with you. Michael Hodges was a very good client of ours. And it was very sad when we heard of his passing, which was last August. However, we're also very privileged to be selling his things. And this is one of the things that, that he treasured. He caught it himself and then he had a taxi derby. Michael was a very interesting cam uh, character. He was a plumber and owned a rather large plumbing business, a very successful one. Unfortunately, he passed away too soon. This is the bungalow area. There are four rooms here, chock-a-block, with sporting memorabilia, football, uh, cricket, even tennis, I think. <laughs> and everything. He covered, everything. He collected. He was a very eclectic Absolutely. collector. He loved rustic furniture. But he also loved good new modern things. It's like TVs. There's about 10 TVs in the house going from about 60 centimetres to about 150. They're everywhere. And farming equipment, bobcats, well, excavators. Yes. Beautiful place he lived in, overlooking the yard. Pinball machines. We've got oh, pet ball bowsers. No, we've got to get rid of that. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> we have. No, it's not going to shut on you. <laughs> okay. This massive house, absolutely Michael, massive. Michael, apart from being a plumber, was also a coach and he was into horse racing and he also supported the Aboriginal com community. He camped extensively and went to far off places. So as you meander through the house, you will see quite a number of Aboriginal artworks um, and um, carvings, etc, etc. Uh, he was very eclectic. Can I, can I take a photo of the views? Oh, the lions over here. No, 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 we're not selling the view. The view's already been sold. Ah. They're so from old irons and little boxes to over here, there's a very good range of uh, pinfolds. Range? Range. Lots. Yes. And Lots this is this is all genuine. Sandwiches. Nothing's been brought in. It's all a genuine well, estate. from the cellar. That's right. But uh, Michael also had a passion for gramophones. And phonographs. Phonographs. So if we go this way, this is his prize little pieces cabinet. There's a brilliant assortment of ivory pieces. Mm -hmm. There are pipes. Also a collection of uh, small guns. Silver, sterling silver over there. Yep, he collected everything. Some nice Victorian furniture, credenza. Yeah, there's me. I'm just filming myself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is a very good thing. This is a Georgian Bible box. I remember when he bought Chester that from Wars. us. Yes. He actually purchased that at Amanda Adams Auctions. Um, going over this way and back towards the view. You have to come this way, David. He did love his Chesterfields. There's a number of Chesterfields in here. There's a uh, Max Maddox, Pro Hub. I'll go around this side of the room. If you go through the window over here, David, you can see some um, heavy earth moving equipment, bobcats and the like. Let's have a look. So you can just show them from the window. And oh, through, yeah. throughout the property, there, there's a number of wagon uh, wheels that were converted into benches and seats and all sorts of things. He liked his ladies as well, some nice shapely ladies from the Art Deco period. Yes. There's several Tantler sets. Oh, this is this. Just walking around, I'm excited. Yeah, 
yeah, you really get a feel of the man in this place. So going along this way, follow. Follow There's you. A lot to see. <laughs> Um, Which way, rooms this is, are we going? This, this was probably Michael's uh, favourite room. Yeah. Because this is where he um, kept quite a lot of the gramophones and radios. Actually, there's gramophones scattered throughout the house. Yep. There's a few over here. And it's, it, it's all really quite eclectic. It's really quite interesting how um, he collected. I guess he looked for uh, interesting things more than anything. And he took advice from us too the last Absolutely. few years, didn't he? Absolutely, but also price was never an issue with him. No. He just bought things because he liked We're them. selling all the electrical goods as well in the auction. Are oh, you going to film me? Okay. I'm here. Okay. <laughs> I'll take over. Well, all the electrical goods, all the stereo systems. Yeah, look at the TV the and stereo. How much would, uh, did we estimate on that, David? Uh, not a lot. So it's a TV, stereo, cabinet, CD, stereo, CD player. The whole works. from the estate aren't to sell everything really. So let's get you. Uh, why are you walking backwards? So that I don't get the, get your board spot. <laughs> okay, hang on, better turn it around this way then. <laughs> and now I'll walk backwards. Okay. So everywhere you look, there's interesting things across the board. There's some more photographs from his collection. He loved them. He, he loved them. I think he's, there's about 20, 25 of them, Edison's. Lots of Aboriginal art, which he loved. He supported the Aboriginal community in a big way. He, and he won many awards as well. In fact, when you look at the website, we'll have the information, his history, uh, about what he did in his lifetime. And it was only 52, so he did an awful lot. He did an awful lot in his time. Ah, so got your ball spot. I'll stop it. Along here, let's go up here. There's some more things. More photograph. More TVs. Yeah. He, he, everything he bought, he decorated. He, he viewed it all, he looked at it all, he loved his things, he had a passion for collecting as well. And there's some rare photographs here, but instructions are to sell, to go up this way. You, what, what, uh, don't look at my ball spot. No, well that, that's, that's centre stage. Oh, and here, there's a couple of rare little, uh, unusual little photographs, little mickeys, and um, these are unusual. And let's walk upstairs too, even upstairs. Oh, I'm not going upstairs with oh. a camera. No, 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 no. No, you don't want to? No, 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 no. Okay, well, let's, uh, let me take it upstairs. No, no, no. Yeah, they go. have to come here and have a look. Have a look this way. And have we gone I, to... I like these little His Master's Voice dogs. They're really cute. I want to go into the sports area. And these fossils are fantastic. I, I want to show you sports memorabilia. Oh, you got to unlock it. You, you unlock it. I'll keep walking really? around and showing. Talking. I'll keep talking while I'm going to walk upstairs and show you the upstairs. You've only got 10 minutes. I've only got 10 minutes. I've only got two minutes left. But you open up upstairs. I'll just walk upstairs. So everywhere you look, there's something interesting. I hope you don't mind going up the stairs. We're, this is really happening. And the most interesting thing about this auction is it's a genuine estate. Not like this, some of the estates that you go to. This is genuine. It's all from the property. Have a look. Several of these items he purchased from our auction room as well over the years. We'll go downstairs again and we're going to have a look at the sports rooms. He had a huge collection of sports memorabilia. Huge. Let's keep going down. So we're really filming this as he as it's happening. It's open. It's open. It's open. Okay, do you want to take over now because? No, keep going. Okay. I, I wanted you to hold the uh, camera. That's all right. Okay, it's open. Okay. Also, yeah, a large collection. Uh, of antique bottles. He, he was a bottle selector as well. This is the sports memorabilia room. He set it all up. He knew a lot of famous sports people in his time. These are interesting. Uh, Reuben, genuine Reuben Carter, Hurricane Carter shorts. This is the some of the uh, Aboriginal football players he supported. 
and these are genuine boxing gloves too. Uh, there's Lionel Rose and Elvis Presley. So Marvin Hagler, Muhammad Ali. He's got a few things from Muhammad Ali. Mike Tyson. Yep. Even Dean Martin. Dean Martin even signed photographs for Mick. So he knew a lot of famous people in his time. Or at least met them. Well, I think they met him. I think he was extremely famous in his own way. Wait, you're taking over again. Okay. All right. And there's some more. Uh, his uh, master's original, voice. Uh, master's voice signs. Enamel signs, yeah. Enamel signs. More boxing gloves. So he had a lot of signs. Uh, there's a couple of petrol bowsers, golden yes. fleece and shell. And all the fantastic uh, garden uh, benches outside as well that were custom built for him. Did you show. Uh, did we go into this room? I want to just show the antique bottles as well. There's a laundry, there's as new laundry equipment in there. Well, we can't go. There's too many rooms, David. David. I'll go one more room. You have to look because it's exciting. There's some of his scale model boats, his bottle collection. Oh, part of it. There's bottles in other parts no. of the house. The bottom line is you have to come to this auction. Yeah, you you're making to. me shake the camera. I'll, I'll go out again. I'll go out again. With, uh, our viewing for the auction will be on cool. Friday, the 4th of March, 2 p.m. to 7 p.m. Saturday, the 5th of March, 12 noon to 5 p.m. Sunday morning, the day of the auction, the 6th of March, from 10 a.m. to 12 noon. The auction will start at 12 noon. Make sure you're registered to be able to bid. Uh, there's some fantastic things going up for auction, and we hope you can get a bit of history, a part of uh, Mick Hodges' history. So hopefully we see you at the auction. Have a look at the camera oh, and, and the team, the uh, football team that he used to coach. Yeah, they're is coming down the, from uh, to do a some of the Aboriginal uh, uh, people that he was connected with are coming down. They're doing Darwin the sausage sizzle. The auction. And so they'll be... Uh, are they doing the sausage sizzle yeah, or is it a football which, club? I think the football club's doing a sausage sizzle. What was it? The Lower Plenty, I think it was. We forgot. Yeah, I think it was Lower Plenty Football Club. But if you want to come and see a bit of history, you have to come to the auction. We'll see you at the auction. Good luck. Bye. Bye. Bye.